Hello everyone, let's meet Alex, who works as a DevOps engineer at a leading fintech company. Alex is responsible for the continuous deployment of critical financial applications. One evening, while deploying a major update, Alex faced a critical situation. Sensitive database credentials stored in an Ansible playbook were accidentally exposed during a routine deployment, leading to a security breach. The breach resulted in unauthorized access to confidential financial data destroying the company's reputation and leading to significant financial losses. In retrospection, Alex and the team realized that the breach could have been avoided with better security practices in managing playbooks. The incident highlighted the need for more stringent measures to secure the automation tasks and prevent such vulnerabilities. In the world of DevOps, automation is key. We have teams all over the globe that rely on tools like Ansible to manage their infrastructure and deployments efficiently. However, this reliance on automation comes with a significant challenge. Playbooks, which are the heart of the Ansible automation, often contain sensitive information such as passwords, API keys, and other such credentials. And it becomes an issue when these playbooks are not properly secured. In the scenario of Alex, the loyal database credentials had leaked during an update and this caused the security gap. This is an everyday challenge of the organizations you find where people go for speed and forget about how crucial security is. These gaps are the source of serious problems, such as the occurrence of financial losses, as well as the damage the reputation of the company can suffer. In the world of fintech or any organization for that matter, faithfulness plays a key role. Firmness of one breach can tear the business confidence to pieces and can result in irreparable loss. The real question here is, do you want this to happen to your organization? This shows an important problem statement to ensure playbooks execute tasks but also keep the information secure. A security measure that scans, identifies and secures vulnerabilities before they become an access point for a breach. And that's where Steampunk Spotter comes into play. A solution designed to secure your Ansible playbooks. Spotter scans your playbooks, identifying any potential vulnerabilities or exposure of sensitive data. It provides detailed insights and recommendations on how to mitigate these tasks. With Spotter, you gain enhanced security for your deployment. You can schedule automated scanning for continuous protection and easy integration into your existing DevOps workflows. In hindsight, using the Spotter tool, the unsecure credentials would have been spotted and Alex would have been warned to conceal them before exposing them in production, thus preventing the data breach. Now, let's see Steampunk Spotter in action and help people like Alex ensure their deployment never gets compromised with these issues. And getting started with Spotter is very easy. First, you'll need to install the tool and integrate it with your existing Ansible environment. Let me show you how easy it is to install Spotter and integrate it to your command line. Let's head over to the Spotter website. Oh wait, sorry, I'm already here. So the first step is to create your own account. And for that, click on Start Free Trial. Here you need to enter your email address and password and you'll get a 14 days trial for using Steampunk Spotter. Just enter your email address and password and click on Let's Go. So once you've created your account, you can just log into your account. And once you're inside, you can just click on the Start Scanning button. You can see the start scanning button here. Just click on that and you will see a welcome guide. So here you would find three options where the first one is where we can actually create a new project to scan a public Git repository. And also the second one that you see here is to install the Spotter CLI and scan the Ansible content that you have or the playbooks that you have. And the third one that you see here is as well, you can integrate Spotter to your favorite IDE. But the one that we are interested in is the option number two, installing Spotter CLI. Just click on that option and you will get the steps to install and integrate Spotter CLI. So first you need to install CLI using the pip install steampunk command and you need to generate a new API token. You can go to this page by clicking on your account name and here you can see the my settings option. You can just click on that and here you can see the API token. So in order to log into Spotter using the Spotter CLI, you need to create an API token. I have just given the name demo2 and I'll just create the API token. And here, please make sure that you copy the API token right now because you will not be able to read it later. So make sure that you copy this and keep it secure so that we can use it to log in using the Spotter CLI. 
And once you're done with that, let's move on to the solution for which Alex is waiting. Let's suppose Alex was using this playbook which created a lot of issues. And this is not just a single playbook that he might be using. Here, we need to understand that in a production environment, there could be hundreds and thousands of playbooks and code that we might use as a part of our deployment process. And that is why automation and security play a crucial role in keeping the environment and the product deployment cycle secure. If we take a close look at this playbook, Alex accidentally included a plain text password for the database user, creating a critical security vulnerability, which of course, without a scanner like Spotter, is hard to catch if you're working on hundreds of playbooks. Let's run the Spotter scan on this playbook and see what it gives us. And here is the playbook and the command that I'm going to use. Spotter scan hyphen hyphen profile security, the playbook name, hyphen hyphen ansible hyphen version 2.15. But before that, please make sure that you have installed the Spotter CLI and also logged in using the Spotter token that you created using the instructions. Let's talk about the command so that you know why and what these terms mean. Spotter scan, as you can see here, this year instruct Spotter to scan a given playbook for potential security vulnerabilities. Post which we pass hyphen hyphen profile space security. This tells Spotter to use its security profile for scanning. The security profile is crafted to detect common security issues in Ansible playbooks, such as hard coded secrets, insecure configurations, and much more. Then we pass the playbook name with the playbook path. And at the end, we pass hyphen hyphen ansible hyphen version that is 2.15 which specifies the version of ansible that the playbook is intended to run on. This helps Spotter understand the syntax and features available in that particular version of ansible. So this is the playbook that we have here and on the terminal I'll just run the command that I just spoke about. So I just typed spotter scan hyphen hyphen profile space security. Then I have provided the playbook name along with the playbook path and hyphen hyphen ansible hyphen version that is 2.15 that's it you can just hit enter and let's see what the scan result gives us well 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 as you can see the scan result shows an error here there's the error it is trying to show us and what is the error a hard coded secret was detected inside the play it recommends using a variable or ansible vault instead of a plain password or a plain text password. So this is how smartly Spotter can help you and recommend you the actions you need to take to make sure you and your environment are secure. It just took us a second to scan, but it could have saved Alex and his company a lot of time, money and effort. And that's what Spotter brings onto the table. And not just that, once you're done with your scanning, you can just come back to the dashboard again. On this dashboard, as we have just now scanned a playbook, it shows one scan, total scan errors is one and here you can see the most common errors that it has got is e3301 that's the one that we actually received on the scan result as well and if you just want to see this you can just you can just click on the error here and it will take you to the catalog page and this catalog has all the information that you need to know about the error that we just saw and it actually gives you an example of the bad playbook that we had and how you can improve it using the good playbook example here you can see the service now password was hard coded. Now a variable has been defined which actually fetches the value of the password from the vault. Isn't this amazing? Yes, it is. And if you wish to know more about how to use Spotter, you can always check out the documentation. It has all the information that you need. What you just experienced in these few minutes is one of the many features that Spotter has to offer. It's not only just about having the playbook secure, but also providing stability to our automation process, which result in increased efficiency, reliability, and security. Thanks for joining in today. We will be back with another important use case and a solution in the upcoming session. And until then, please do check out the link that I have given for Spotter and please give it a try. You'll surely not regret. So until next time, it's Sam from Pytholic signing off.